under stress, a dislocation pinned at two points in the slip plane bulges between them. The portions close to the pinning points rotate around them and approach each other. As parts of a single dislocation, the approaching segments have the same burger's vector, but opposite directions. In the insert, these segments are assigned the same direction, so their burger's vectors are opposite. Their consequent annihilation pinches off an independent loop from the segment attached to the pinning points. The region inside the loop has slipped, that outside has not. The bulging dislocation segment minimizes its energy by always being an arc of a circle, like a section of a bubble bulging out from a pipe. Once the dislocation becomes semicircular, the stress provides enough energy for the dislocation to bulge into a free loop, like a bubble expanding and separating from the pipe. Once a loop is formed, the initial edge segment is ready for another cycle as a source for generating loop after loop. The Frank Reed source is here illustrated as composed of straight edge and screw segments. The segments normal to the loops burger's vector are edge and those parallel are screw. Parallel segments on opposite sides of the loop point in opposite directions and hence are opposite dislocations. Thus, the top edge segment has its extra half plane above the slip plane and the bottom ones have their extra half planes below. The screw segments moving towards each other have opposite twists. Once they annihilate, the loop is free to expand and the recreated initial segment bulges out to produce a second unit of slip. Since all the segments have the same burger's vector, they produce the same slip, despite different orientations and directions of glide. As the two screw segments extending downwards from the pinning points move towards each other, the areas they traverse slip in the same way, because they have opposite burger's vectors when their assigned directions are the same. When the two screw segments coincide, their atomic configurations disappear. The edge segments being trailed behind the colliding screw segments become two continuous dislocations, the upper becoming the original edge segment ready for another cycle, the lower completing the free loop which surrounds the slipped region.